Uh, so again, my name is Rob Butts, uh, uh, Rob at Apache.org, uh, and what I'm going to show off is a is a preview for something that we're, I'm working on, we're working on um, in Apache Traffic Server, and I want to make a lot of disclaimers here. This is a, a very much a preview. Um, we're still working on exactly what it's going to look like. Um, we do not have consensus with the Apache Traffic Server team yet. Um, I still need to put it on the mailing list. I've made a draft PR. I've gotten input, but this is very much a preview. It it will almost certainly look different. Um, we we do I think have consensus to add. Uh, next top strategy plugins to to ATS in some way. I think there's a general broad consensus that it's something we want. It's a direction we want to move in. Um, and to begin with, John Rushford, who's also on our team at, at Comcast on the CDN uh, on traffic control, um, John Rushford may implemented next top strategies in core of ATS, and he actually presented that last year. If anyone was at last year's Apache Con. And so I'm going to go over that real quick, and then I'm going to talk about the the prototype that I have, and I'm going to show off the prototype I have. And there's kind of two goals here. Um, the the first one is for users. If you're a user of ATS, um, is to just show you, and you know, if you like to get excited about new things, this is something that's hopefully new and coming, and and I think exciting. Um, and then the other half of that is if you're a developer on Apache Traffic Server um, on the project, um, I'm looking to get feedback of you know. Is this good? What what do we want to see changed? Um, what you know? How is this how we want to do it? Or or what other ways would we want to want to do that? So um, to review real quick again, John Rushford um, did this about a year ago and and showed it off at, at uh, ApacheCon. But for those who weren't there, parent strategies. So if you're familiar with parent selection, that first line I have here, um, that's what. Actually, that's I'm sorry, that's a map. Um, if you're familiar with a, a Apache Traffic Server config, your the parent dot config line is how you do parent selection, and you can do things like multiple parents and failover and that kind of thing. Strategies give you much more power around that. Um, the configuration for next stop strategies, as you can see here, it's also YAML. Uh, Apache Traffic Server is moving towards YAML configs, and so that does that, but it also adds much more powerful config. So. Again, just reviewing real quick, the way it looks, um, you see this top remap line, um, map map A to B, um, and then you have an at strategy to say, this is the strategy I want this remap line to use. Um, it's similar to the at plugin, it's just at strategy. And then in your strategies.yaml file, you have the name of that strategy, the policy consistent hash or round robin, or we might add more in the future. Again, these are familiar if you're if you're familiar with parent.config. Um, the the hash key um, can be an arbitrary cash key uh, if you if you want to say don't do the the traditional hash. Um, I want to use a custom hash. You know, don't, traditionally the the origin fqdn or the parent fqdn is is hashed. Um, here you can add a custom one. Go direct again. It's, straight out of parent.config, um, whether to go direct or to use the parent proxy scheme, failover. Um, so failover, again, we've got a little bit more power here. And, and this code in ATS core gives us much more power to add more things in the future. But uh, ring mode exhaust ring um, is saying, uh, exhaust all of the primary parents before I fail over to a secondary one. And then response codes is letting us choose the exact response codes that I want to consider a failure. So fail over on these response codes. Um, again, if you're familiar with parent.config, right now um, 404s will fail over, but they won't mark the parent down. Um, and 5XXs, I believe 503, 502, maybe 500 will will uh, mark the parent down and fail over. So this gives you more control over that. Um, and then you have this list of hosts. I, I kind of omitted the groups for space, but you can have groups of hosts, and then you have hosts in the strategy config. And here's a host, here's a protocol, here's a port. It's fairly straightforward. So again, this is in ATS core. It will be in the next version of ATS. Um, so what I'd like to show is, again, a preview. Um, again, all the disclaimers. This is very much subject to change, subject to consensus. 
Um, it might not even happen. I think there's a, a I, I hope there's a strong chance it'll happen, but very much a preview. But this is the, the prototype I have right now, and I'll show in GitHub in a minute if anyone wants to see the draft PR. Um, these are, um, these are the, the core things that we add. So we're adding a remap plugin uh, function. Uh, here we have TS remap init strategy. And so to make a parent selection plugin, what you'll do is you'll, uh, you'll make a remap plugin in ATS and you will call this function, um, or I'm, so, I'm sorry, you will implement this function and it takes this strategy class that is a pure virtual class in, in C++, which is to say it's, it's an interface. It's what other languages call an interface. So your plugin will implement that interface, and then it will pass the pointer ref to the class that you made implementing that. And then that has these functions, and these are what we need for parent selection. Um, and these are what, it, what are currently in core that, again, we could add new strategies in core today, but then you have to have a new ATS version. You know, I don't need to make the argument for plugins in general. That's, that's why we want plugins. Um, so the functions here are find next hop. Um, core will call this on the strategy you register for remaps that, that use that strategy in your plugin um, anytime they need a parent. They'll say, they'll call find next hop. And again, this is essentially being called in core today. This just exposes it um, to the plugin. Uh, then we have mark next hop. So when there's a failure, the core again will call mark next hop on the strategy that you registered. Um, and it takes a, a HTB, TSHTB TXN. Again, if you're familiar with remap plugins in ATS, this is pretty standard. Um, and then you will, it, it will call this on your plugin, and then your plugin will do whatever it needs to do to say, ATS is telling me to mark this parent down from now on for anybody else calling this. Um, next top exists is, is Again, core will call this, and this is your plugin, your strategy saying, does another hop exist, or am I out? If I run out of parents, um, response is retriable. Um, is again going back to that that failure code. What in parent.config today is a 400 or a 503. Um, response is retriable. Is 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 saying, do I need to retry this? And you get the status code and. Again, we could add more things in the future. Um, this is, again, very much a prototype. If somebody else says, I want this other data to determine if it's retriable. But right now, you get the status code and how many attempts have already been tried. So for example, your plugin, you might want to say, well, I want to try five 503s, but only two 404s. You could do this in, in the function in your plugin. Um, on failure, mark parent down. Again, you get the response code. We could add more things, and we can discuss that. But right now you get the code and you can say, well, I want to mark down 404s or I want to mark down 503s. Um, and then go direct and parent as proxy are again straight out of parent.config, what's in strategies today. Go direct, do you go direct to the origin or do you use the proxy? And parent as proxy is is my parent a proxy or is it is it an origin? Um, so in order to to do this, the we need additional, it, it, in order to have strategies and to make those decisions, we need these additional functions in, uh, in ATS in the API. Um, and so this is, again, this is just the list straight out of my draft PR. Um, we might need to add more things in the future, but these are the things that are strictly required to re-implement the strategies we have today, round robin and consistent hash in core as plugins. Um, so we have the, the host status reason, the, the parent result type. These are just enums. Um, the next hop selection strategy, again, that's that interface. Parent result, it's another thing in core. Um, so, so we're actually creating a new struct that has all the same values as, as core because we don't, we don't let you manipulate directly direct core objects in plugins in ATS. Um, so this gives you an object with the data that, that you need. Um, Parent result string is just, an, it's another enum string. Host name is self. Um, so this has to do with markdown when you start ATS of, of localhost. So we have the ATS has a self detect thing. And in order to re implement that with your strategy plugins, you need the ability to get is the host name of this, this thing self. You know, is it localhost? Is it 127, one, one, et cetera? 
Um, and then host status get, host status set. Those also have to do with getting the host status information from core that, that you'll need in your plugin. Um, parent result get, again, that's that parent result object up there. That's something that you'll need in order to make those strategy next top decisions. Um, and then uh, parent result set, same thing. Uh, you, you'll often need to change some of that data. We could have made these like a, a dozen functions, but there's a parent result object in core. So I just exposed it as that whole thing. And typically, you'll need to set you know a, a good number of them. And then again, the host status enum itself. Um, so, so what I'm going to do now is show the plugin that I have um, and, and the plugin interface that I've added. Um, so let's pull up GitHub. And, I, and the reason I want to do this is also to show the draft PR so that if anybody here is, is interested in you know, commenting on it, um, well, here, here's the link, here's the URL. Um, so let's pull this up. And I also want to show a little bit about how to make, how you will make a strategy plugin with, again, the current PR, assuming it doesn't change. Um, no, I, I would also say, again, the, again, all the disclaimers, but I would expect any kind of strategy plugin, next top strategy plugin interface that we add to the API, even if it doesn't look like this, I would expect it to be similar um, because you need the same data. So we might not expose these exact functions, but we'll need a way to get whether the host name is itself. We'll need to get the status. And going back to the interface that, that this adds, uh, this this TS next hop selection strategy. Again, it might not look exactly like this, but we the core will need to let your plugin find the next hop. Core will need to give your plugin a way to mark the next hop. So it might not look exactly like this, but the functions should be pretty similar, um, I, I would hope, um, because again, the data is the same and you simply need to do the same things. Um, so this is, this is the PR that I have. Again, if anyone wants to look at it or comment on it on Apache Traffic Server, github.com slash Apache slash Traffic Server, um, pull 7023. And so let's look at a little bit how it looks to actually make a plugin. Um, so you again, we add all of these functions to the API. So these are the functions we have. And then. Let's see here. Is, so here are some of the functions, some of the classes um, that the PR adds to plugins experimental. Um, and if I can find the plugin file, So, so here's the plugin file. Um, let's pull this out. So again, if you were to write a strategy plugin, and if this is what it happened to look like in, in the final iteration in Apache Traffic Server, um, this is a standard remap plugin. If you're familiar with remap plugins, I can make this a little bigger. Um, so you'll, you'll have a... Um, to start with, you'll have your remap init. And so what this remap init is doing is it is, well, it's actually doing very little. It's checking the version. Um, and then you have your remap new instance. And this is actually creating the strategy. So this is our function. This is a function in the plugin that we've written, our remap plugin, to make a strategy from a file. And we get the config file path from the plugin argument. And, and create the strategy. And then we're going to put that strategy in our IH pointer in ATS, which is, again, if you're familiar with remap plugins, this is stored and given to your plugin in future calls. So, so you'll make a remap. Again, imagining you're making a next hop strategy plugin for whatever you need to do your next hop decisions. Um, you're, you're making a new plugin. You'll implement this function, remap new instance, and you'll, you'll create your strategy. This is creating it from a file, but you don't have to, right? In theory, you could create it from, I don't know, something over the network or, or who knows what. Or maybe it's hard coded. Maybe you don't have configuration. Your plugin is just completely static, whatever. 
Um, so you make that, you put it in the IH pointer, and then this function is one of the new functions that, that this PR adds. Um, and again, this function takes the pointer ref. And so your, your plugin will then put the IH pointer in the strategy pointer ref that was passed. And that's really all this does. So this is called anytime we need to initialize a new strategy, strategies are being reloaded in core for some reason. Um, and you could actually create the strategy here, but you might as well be more efficient and create it on initialization of the remap plugin, um, unless you needed to do it dynamically for, for whatever reason. Um, and then after that, that's pretty much it. So this strategy plugin, again, core will call this, um, and you can see where in my PR if you really want to see the details of the code. Um, core will call this when it needs to initialize strategies. And you pass it to the pointer ref. And then from then on, core has the strategy that you created. And it will call those functions. Again, going back to what this interface looks like, um, core will call find next top, mark next top, next top exists on this strategy interface that, again, you implemented um, that, that C++ pure virtual class. Um, and so we've got to do, you can see our do remap isn't doing anything. Um, delete instance is deleting the uh, config path. Um, that's, that's it. So, so the, the complex part, again, you can see this is pretty simple. The complex part is actually implementing this. Um, implementing this interface. And so if we go look at that, um, let's see. So there's some health status helpers. Here's our plugin. Um, I can find it. There's our plugin make file. Again, standard plugin stuff. Here we go. So this is our consistent hash dot h. Um, and you can see here, we actually made two levels of classes. And, and I was just following what core does. Um, that This public class is implementing the interface um, and it's also a little bit virtual. And then this is our final class that you can see here has the functions we need find next hop. And so if we actually look at this, uh, the CC file, um, and again, this is, is almost copy and pasted from core just as an example um, of consistent hash. Um, and so you could have Again, theoretically, any next top strategy you like, but this is consistent hash. So we see the C hash lookup. Again, that's right out of core. Um, we, we have a constructor destructor in it. Um, and let's look at, so these are all internal functions, git hash key. So here's find next top. So this is one of the interface functions that had to be implemented. And again, it's a lot of code, but this is finding the next top and setting it in the transaction pointer. And so if we look here, we have an error function, um, and down at the bottom, we're here's so you can see it's setting some of these result values. We got this result from the plugin function. That's another function that was added, and then at the end, we'll call parent result set. Um, so. That's that's essentially it for the code. Again, if you really want to see all the details, uh, the PR is here. Uh, but that's that's how you make a plugin: is you you fulfill that interface, and you've got those new functions that are necessary um, for the data you need. Parent result get host name is self. In addition, you've got all the other functions that already exist that we're, we're that we are using a lot of them in in this draft. Um, and you you have access to any remap API function you need to get data to to make those parent strategy decisions. Um, so I'll go ahead and show the plugin in action now. So here's the virtual machine. Um, and let's look at remap.config. So again, this is up to this point is what strategies look like today in core. You specify your strategy name, you have a strategies.yaml. Um, 
And then here's our plugin. So this is a standard remap plugin. And like I mentioned before, you pass the config to this plugin. Again, this is the plugin I created. Um, you don't have to have your plugin that looks exactly like this. You could you could have different params. You know, it's a standard remap plugin. Um, so let's look at. So again, you can see my my plugin here is taking the param, and this is my param plugin strategies.yaml. This is a traditional strategies.yaml. Again, if you were at the John's talk last year, you would have seen this. Um, this is what I just showed in the presentation slide. Um, our plugin strategies looks almost exactly like this. And again, bearing in mind, this is a plugin. It's completely all of this is in the plugin. So it doesn't have to be YAML. You know, you could use a CSV file. You could use JSON. It's this is not in core. This is our plugin is loading this file, um, and it could be look like anything you want it to look like. I just happened to make a plugin that emulated the current core consistent hash, um, and that's pretty much it. So um, there, there's our strategy. You saw the remap. We can look at the remap again. Um, and we're going to map request to example.com to that strategy. Um, again, parent.config goes away. So that, that already went away with strategies in general. The plugin continues that. Parent.config is no longer a factor for this remap. Um, it's entirely using strategies. It's specifically using our plugin that will create the strategy that we specified. Um, and we can see a curl will work. So this is a curl through the strategy. This is just returning a 200. This is actually my fake origin. I've just got a little fake origin here that returns whatever um, you put in the slash as the code. I can get a 503. I can get a 201. Um, so it's not actually example.com. Which again, if we look at our strategies, we can see I told this. Uh, remap to use this strategy in my hosts are localhost. Um, actually, the second one is example, but we we were hitting localhost for that um, and getting again on um, port forty thousand. If you want to see that, that's the origin we were just hitting. It's on localhost. Um, I think that's really about it. Um, that's that's all the details. Uh, does anyone have questions, um, opinions? Again, I'm definitely interested in the ATS community. If anyone from ATS is here and has comments or, or you know, thinks we should do it a different way, um, I don't see any questions yet, Rob. Uh, we can we give it have... a 15 minutes. Yeah, I don't know if we have very many people from the ATS community. I don't see anybody in in our list of attendees. Um, but yeah, again, we're so we're doing this for Apache Traffic Control. Um, I'm I'm primarily a developer on Apache Traffic Control, uh, and this is something we need, um, and we need it specifically on the Comcast CDN. Um, so so this gives us the ability to do anything we need to do with parentage um, in, in a plugin that we don't have to have you know, a new release of ATS core to have. Um, and I could think of countless examples. So, so one example is the codes. Um, we would like smarter markdown around different HTTP codes of, for example, maybe, maybe a 404 we want to get, say, 100 requests in Markdown, right? We want to be really, really liberal with that. But with a 503, we want two requests and it marks down. But maybe maybe a 503 gets two requests and marks down, but a 502 will try 10 times because that's a bad gateway. That's telling us the upstream is probably another CDN rather than a native origin. Somebody's, somebody is chaining CDNs, and so we'll retry that a few more times. Um, so, so strategies give us the ability to do that. Um, they theoretically give us external health. So that's another thing. Um, ATS can't really add um, the traffic control health monitor, right? That has nothing to do with ATS. 
but we can make a traffic control plugin that will go to our health monitor and say, this origin is unhealthy. Don't even try it once. We, we already know it's unhealthy. Um, or this mid, this, this parent proxy. Um, we happen to know this mid is immediately unhealthy. Don't even try it once. Um, so there's innumerable things um, that, that we could do with this, uh, with, with plugins. Uh, Uh, and uh, well, I don't see any questions. Um, so thank you, Rob. I really appreciate it. And sorry for making you end up with back-to-back -back sessions, but that's that's fine. Uh, again, I I'm Rob at Apache.org. Um, if you can still see my screen, uh, yeah. If anyone has any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Reach out to the ATS community. Again, I'd like to add all the disclaimers to this. This is not uh, something that it, it does not have consensus yet. I, I have a draft example, and I will I will be shortly um, going to the Apache Traffic Server mailing list to 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 get that consensus. There's a very good chance this will change. Um, we're we're very hopeful that we will see it. I, I think we have consensus to do strategy plugins in some way or another. It's just a question of what the ATS community wants to see them look like, like what exactly the new API hooks look like. Um, so yeah, cool. thanks everyone. Cool. All right, thanks, Rob. See ya.